Hey everyone, this is Keith here, and today I'm taking a look at Saints Row 4 for Linux. Uh, this game just released uh, for Linux not too long ago. Um, I've played this game on Windows primarily. I've got about 8 hours of game time. Uh, and it's a very fun game in my opinion. It's currently on sale on Steam at the time of making this video uh, for $4.49. And at that price, this game is you know definitely uh, worth the uh, ask asking price. Um, I could see this game, you know, easily being about, uh, I don't know, giving you about maybe 30 hours of game time, maybe even more. Uh, there's just so many collectibles and uh, side missions to do. Um, and you can also do things like customize vehicles, uh, customize weapons, and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, you know, that just gives you a lot more stuff to do. And of course, I don't, that's very time consuming. See here, here's the weapon shop. This is where we can uh, buy new weapons and ammo and stuff like that. Um, anyway, yeah, so how is the Linux port? Well, one thing uh, I would like to mention is that this game is not entirely uh, Linux native. It does use the virtual programming tool Eon, which is a uh, sort of direct X to OpenGL. Uh, interpreter, kind of similar to Wine, but uh, Eon works at such a, at a much lower level, and overall, I would say, it gives much better performance than Wine in many instances. Uh, another title that uses Eon, the other biggest title I can think of, would be uh, Witcher Two was one game. Although since uh, Witcher Two's release, Eon has gotten much better. Um, so yeah, uh, how is the port's performance? That's the main thing everyone's uh, worried about. Uh, well, overall, I would say the game performs acceptable. It's it's acceptable, the game's performance. Um, it's not as good as the Windows version. On the Windows version, you know, you get, I get a consistent 60 frames per second, and in certain areas get up to 80s and 90s, you know, if I'm sort of out of built on top of a building where nothing really is being rendered uh, next to me. Um, and in this game, as you can see on the top left there, uh, just sort of, you know, digging around, digging around and flying around everywhere. Uh, I'm really getting, you know, f I'm hitting as low as 40s, uh, and then it jumps back up to 50, and then it hits 70. Very inconsistent frame rates, uh, which is sort of annoying, because when you have a frame rate that sort of jumps between highs and lows like that constantly, you get this, like, stuttering, which is really annoying. Um, and that is one thing this game like strangely suffers from. Like if I sit here, see here the frame rate, you know, it's at about 50 something. Well, if I start to move around, then the frame rate really takes a dive, and it's it's kind of annoying, um, you know, to turn a corner and then the frame rate just sort of stutters a little bit. I have noticed that once everything's loaded in, performance does get a lot better, but it's still like there's still some of these weird stutter micro stutters that happen every now and again, and it's sort of annoying. Um, but yeah, the game itself is absolutely playable, and uh, it's a very fun game. As you can see here, you know, you get all these crazy superpowers, you know, you can jump on buildings and stuff like that, and you can fly in midair, run real fast. Uh, the jumping reminds me a lot of, like, the Hulk game on the PS2. I know it's a bit of an obscure one. Um, there's also, it's, it's, I would, I guess, I would assume it's similar to the game prototype, but I've never really played that game. I'm going purely by how the animations and stuff look. It has sort of, sort of a uh, similar look to that. But yeah, let's go ahead and cause mayhem. That is sort of what this game is about. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto in that respect, where you just you can just cause mayhem if you want to. Although with this game, you get things like uh, telekinesis, which allow you to do a bit more crazy things. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to Ice Blast here. You can see you can freeze people and then break them. Um, and if and uh, yeah, if you run and then hit F on someone, you can just completely demolish them and just do all kinds of crazy nonsense. Uh, one cool thing about this game is that it is uh, co-op, so you can invite a buddy in, do missions together, and just do all kinds of uh, nonsense. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, we have tons of weapons to select from as well. And you can, of course, change these weapons at the uh, weapon shop, and you can also upgrade them. So right here we have uh, the uh, assault rifle. I primarily played this game with the Steam controller on my Windows machine, and I can definitely say that this game is, is pretty fun playing 
with a uh, control with the uh, Steam controller. Steam controller overall works very well for this. It's very uh, comfortable experience. I'm trying to get in the car, but I'm hitting the wrong key. It's E that jumps in the vehicles. Yeah, you can sort of jump in the vehicles here and uh, drive around. And the vehicles are fun, but uh, you know, being able to sprint so quickly, you know, you you faster than pretty much any vehicle you can get. So there's really no, almost no point um, to vehicles. See, so yeah, this is a sort of spawn area where uh, enemies come out of. Once you start to cause mayhem, these sort of uh, aliens show up. It's it's kind of a long story. I'm not really going to get into the uh, game's story that much. I am just sort of this video is just about showing the performance and stuff. Oh, that's a friendly. Let's get in this vehicle here. I actually really like this vehicle. It's one of the alien vehicles. It's like the way it looks. Reminds me a lot of like Tron. It also turns on a dime. I like that. Handbrake uh, space is handbrake, so you can just go woo. Yeah, so we're just gonna cause a little bit more mayhem with this tentacle bat here. Yeah, as you can see, this game is just completely silly nonsense. Uh, it's great because of that. Um, and yeah, like, as you see, performance-wise, it's totally playable. Like, it's not great. Like I said, it's not as good as the Windows version. Definitely not. But it's super playable. Um, and a lot of you might say, okay, well, you can tweak the settings to sort of get uh, sort of mid-max performance. And one thing I've noticed is changing the video settings doesn't really seem to uh, improve performance overall like you can see here I, I'm running on ultra that's because when I turn the game down to let's just say okay low which makes the game look hideous we don't really get okay there we go so okay now the game's definitely running you know much much better see here we have getting in the hundreds seventies now we have a much more consistent frame rate but even then, when we start to run around and we start to do things, we still have those huge drops in frame rates. Um, and we still have things like texture popping. As you can see, the frame rate just hit below 50 again. It's just certain things just cause this game. And as you can see, the game looks absolutely abysmal now. Um, yeah, and it's just kind of... The, the inconsistent frame rate is really the most annoying thing. Because, you know, if the game ran consist consistently at, like, 50 frames a second, okay. But the fact that, you know, uh, even at low, you know, you can go from 100 frames to 30 frames so quickly. It just creates this sort of nauseating, stuttering effect, and it's just really annoying. So I just choose to play the game on its highest settings. Um, I find medium isn't really that much better either, like you see here. I really tried to, I also went into custom and tried to sort of fine tweak these settings, but I couldn't really, uh, you know, get a good sort of middle ground between performance and visuals, because like I said, no matter what, uh, no matter what visual fidelity I chose, the game still just has this, like, inconsistent frame rate, so I, you might as well just play at a max, you know. So we're going to go ahead and turn that back up to ultra. Yeah, but, you know, the game's fun. Um, you can just do all kinds of crazy nonsense. Like, let's take this guy here. Take it. Oh, pedestrian. That'll work. <laughs> Throw mailboxes and all kinds of just nonsense. Um, and the mult and I haven't really tried this game out on multiplayer, but from what I've seen, it definitely looks uh, like a fun experience. Uh, I got this game as part of the Humble Monthly Bundle. Uh, I think it was the last month's bundle that had this game included. Uh, and it's very fun. Tentacle bat here. Yeah, it's it's definitely different than Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto is more of like a simulation, uh, with like sort of the humor is definitely uh, <laughs> this game's humor is definitely more on the nose. You know, um, the things it's parody parodying are very obvious. Let's see, they take out the shotgun. Shotgun's pretty fun. I always love shotguns in games. Let's kick this guy. Kick him. Oh, pff, he's got a shield on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this game has ragdolls, so that's pretty interesting. So let's get out of here. I'm getting low on life. And, you know, as you can see, I am having fun. Uh, you know, overall, like, you could still, like, play the game and enjoy it. Uh, I should mention that I am playing this on an NVIDIA GTX 970. 
and I have an i7 4970K uh, Intel processor. Uh, so yeah, you know, my I would say I have fairly high-end specs, although you know, nothing amazing. Wow, this I really caused havoc, didn't I? One cool thing about this game is you can go to this golden ball here and uh, hit that, and it'll reset your nor notoriety level. Wow, that was a hard word for me. Oh, wow, well, that was easy. Usually, he uh, gives you a bit of trouble. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, Saints Row 4. Uh, definitely a fun game. You know, it's you know it's a great co-op game to play. Uh, like I said, I've seen gameplay footage of it in co-op, and I, I do want to you know get maybe a different Linux YouTuber together and uh, do a good uh, co-op session because uh, the game is very fun. You know, and there's all kinds of co-op missions you could play together. Uh, so yeah, overall, the game runs good. You know, if you have high-end hardware, uh, I would definitely recommend this game. Um, you know, I kind of wish it was native, because native games, most native games, there's always like, there always seems to be like a 10% performance decrease from Windows, but the frame rate tends to be more consistent, whereas with these Eon wrapper games, I noticed that frame rates just sort of jump all over the place. Uh, but overall, the game's stable, uh, it works, and it's still very, very fun. Um, so yeah, you know, and without Eon, the Eon wrapper, this game probably wouldn't have came out on Linux. So, yeah, you know, thanks for, uh, so I guess we do sort of owe Eon wrapper, uh, that. Um, anyway, yeah, this has been Keith, uh, thanks for watching, uh, signing out.